So we're supposed to meet this unknown contact? It feels like a trap. We're fighting gods with the crows? <laughs> I'm curious who would try to trap us. If our informant actually knows where Elganan and Gillanane are performing their next ritual, it's worth the risk. about using they for yourself, Tosh. Mm hmm Good. There's a lot of stuff. Stuff? Gender stuff. Trans as if you're a man in a woman's body. Non-binary is not fitting into male or female. Gender fluid is... kind of both. It's all this new crap to learn, like a whole other stupid language. But it makes you feel better about yourself? I guess. It's just more work. You're worth it. Okay, Yago and Taya said our informant is somewhere in the market. Let's find them. I just hope their supposed information about the god's location is actually true. So is the trap, not this meeting. Please. So tense. I promise I'll signal when it's time to fight. Strange way to ambush someone. <laughs> You think I couldn't just march on the crows? Scattered on town flock to me. I have the soldiers to raise your casino and every inch of this city. But I'll bet there's no profit in actually winning. Hmm. There's money being made by the occupation. But not by me. I said Treviso was the trap. And I meant it. The jewel of Antiva. She sings, even while caged. Such purity in every stone. It's trapped my heart. I love this city. You have a strange way of showing your affection. I conquered it. I didn't betray it. Not like the cattle born here. You know there are traitors here. They ransom their own city. Literal gods stock the land, but these filth worship their own purses. But you... You're different. You and the crows stay true to your roles. It means something when you die, and even more when you kill. You're as much a work of art as this city. And you... Want a secret from me? You're not an end of the world type. Are you with the gods or not? <sighs> the gods, <laughs> they give strength. 
But all they ask in return is everything. I can feel their corruption. I can hear their whispers. They're calling for a ritual. If I give in, I'll know where you need to go. But I will lose my jewel. My city! So... You live in a casino. Let us make a game of this. I will become what the gods want. Welcome their whispers. Meet me and show me if the crows deserve my city. Was our contact, and he's heading himself all to the blight. Finish them off. We need to go after the butcher. Uh. So the butcher wants us to prove we're worthy of saving Trevisa. That's what's happening. He's given in to the gods' corruption. Everyone's acting like normal. Like the Butcher hasn't gone nuts. So they don't know. Or it's easier to play along. Saving to keep your head down, I guess. Come on. I wait among the drown. The gods nod my mind. I see what you need. Prove you deserve it. Hear the shift in his voice. He's changing. the Butcher. He's a Reaver, and fighting his own Anton. That thing cannot answer questions. We have to hope he's still in there. Named the ritual site T. 
here Stone Island. The Butcher kept his word. He got the death he wanted. Good trade, I guess. And he gave us the information we came for. Yes, truly the Butcher was a paragon of honor and virtue, and we are all devastated to see him go. Eventually. And now you have a location for your final pointless confrontation. The gods are at Tearstone Island. Isn't that what you wanted? A chance to die a hero's death? So go, leave Treviso to those who deserve it. What's left of it, anyways? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us, Governor? Oh, please, just say what you're thinking. You sold Treviso out to the Antam. I did what I did to help this city, to save it. To keep my people from being slaughtered like cattle by the Antam. And you, you let us suffer and sicken in favor of Menrathus. I gave up the crows, you gave up the whole city. Treviso is dying, Rook. And its killer wears your face. You weakened Treviso long before that blighted dragon attacked, Governor. What if Treviso's people could have fought back? Could have rallied to the city's defense? But the Antam kept them weak, let them die. That happened because of a choice you made. I live with the consequences of my decisions. Can you say the same? You live with nothing, Rook. You have the luxury of distraction, of defining all your actions by the greater good. So take your team to Tearstone Island. Face Elgernon and Gillenane, strike them down. Or don't. Either way, Treviso is dying. But it's still mine. Leave its funerary rites to one who cared enough about this city to make themselves its villain. It makes sense now. Every decision they made shows it. The governor betrayed us all. And for what? A city that is sick, and whose recovery will be measured in years. I take it you heard? The butcher's dead. And in his place is the traitor we knew was lurking. And the Antam fell in line? Whatever the Antam are looking for, then she's giving it to them. The blight changes things. Even the Antam fear it. The governor has given them a clear purpose. They were more cunning than I thought. If only we'd figured out it was eventually before all this started. I wish the same. But regret does neither of us good. We knew someone had delivered Treviso to the Butcher. 
You brought us their name. The hand that leashed Treviso. The butcher was the mouth, but the hand was Ivenci all along. They think they have the power in the Antam, and a network doing their will. But we have the face of our enemy. Ivenci will be hiding, so we will hound their Antam and make them desperate. When the governor show themselves again, we end this. Ivenci keeps talking about restoring order and rebuilding Treviso. But what then? I believe the good governor's plan was to risk the city to try and claim the nation. If the Antam beheaded the crows, who would merchant princes hire? Who would invaders fear? As if the Antam would fill that role. This was a bookkeeper's angry grab at power. When Ivenci left, they made it sound like they were planning something. I suspect it will be about restoring order as they see it, and that the crows will be first on their list. Whatever the good governor's intent, we'll end it. You're not concerned the gods will send the Antar more support? The gods might come for us, but they're coming for everyone. I believe you are crafting the answer to that, and we will help as we can. We'll stop Ivenchi. The gods. Did you learn where they will be? Tearstone Island. Ivenchi confirmed it before they left. We know the time to face Elgernon and Gilanane approaches, but it will not take us long to find Ivenchi. If you truly want to help Treviso recover from the Blight, help us deal with the Governor. We'll let you know when we'll make our move. And after that, Treviso will be free. I need to get the team around the table and talk about what's next. Rook, you must find Chance. What happened? He was here earlier, deathly ill, saying he had to see the Market Master. The Market is filled with the sick and injured. If Chance is blighted, or about to become a dark spawn. We will find what has become of him. Come on, we have to find Chance before he gets to the market. Our scrying has revealed more. We've traced several disappearances to an unusual possession. It seeks fear. Cut it down. Lichdom suits Emric. He wears the crown well.
Nev, do you have a favorite food? Whatever you're cooking. There must be something. I might have a weakness for seafood and candlelight. I'll see what I can do. Be ready. I got eyes on them. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting the Venatori to show up. They said something about shipments. Let's look around. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. A word, when you have a moment. Greetings, Rook. It is good to see you helping the Lords of Fortune again. Hey, Rowan. Good to see you. How's your seer work? The seers speak for the spirits, and they always have needs. Right. What do you need me to do? Years ago, when mages rebelled across southern Thedas, Templars from the southern Chantry marched upon Rivian. They declared our mages criminals, and killed many of us. The unacknowledged pain of that injustice twists spirits into demons. Stop the demons and let compassion ease that pain and the land will be safer. I'll see what I can do.
Tearstone Island. That's where Elganon and Gilanane will perform their ritual. With an eclipse, those two can finish their dagger, then tear open the Fade. After that, we've witnessed the horrors Gilanane creates with even a trickle of the Blight. What happens with a Flood? Next eclipse is a month away. That's not a lot of time. Getting past the Antom Navy won't be easy. They'll be on high alert. We'd need our own fleet to get past them, which we don't have. If anyone can find a way around that fleet, it's us. Everything seems impossible at the beginning. Just fight one battle at a time. <laughs> Varric told me that. Damn right, kid. A single boat can sneak past a blockade. We just need to find something that floats. The Antam fleet may not spot us, but the gods see much farther. Worse, they know about us specifically. They'll be waiting. Let's make sure there's too many distractions for them to spot us. Sounds like you have a plan. Harding, reach out to our allies. Wardens, Veil Jumpers, all of them. Tell them to be ready to start swinging. We start in our fires, make some noise, and the gods will look everywhere for us. Except at their front door. It could work. Our allies aren't as strong as they could be. But with a smart plan, they could make it through. That takes care of the approach. But what about when we get there? We'll have two gods waiting. Who knows how many on them? We'll need to be at our best. Question is, are we there yet? There's still much we could do to prepare, but we may all yet survive the day. I'll send off messages to our allies. They'll be ready. What about the Inquisitor? I know he's busy fighting in the south, but this doesn't end until the gods are dead. He knows that. Saving the world? Sounds like the Inquisitor. Reach out to him. Morrigan, too. We could use their help. We're not ready. But we can be. Weeks until the next eclipse gives us time. Let's use it wisely. Agreed. Get some rest. Then we'll take care of outstanding business. Hey, you up for drinks? I'm taking Valara to the hilt for drinks with the Lords of Fortune. You should come. Isabella's paying. Isabella's paying? Hmm. For gold and glory. And free drinks. Up for a trip to the Cobbled Swan? Why? What's happening? Nothing that I know of. With Aelia taken care of, I thought we'd check in. Maybe enjoy the swan for once?
So why did they do it? Make an entire copy of Weishaupt, I mean. Probably a memory of home. It was the last thing they recalled before the Blight took over. They were trying to relive that life, but didn't know how. Well, that's very, very creepy, and also kind of makes sense in a weird way. The joys of being a warden survive the battle, and there's excitement. You're here. What happened? A note from Viago. Katerina is alive. What? How? Zara's carcass told the truth. Ilario didn't arrange Katerina's death because he spirited her away. Katerina has been a prisoner in her own villa, with Ilario as her keeper. What matters is that she's alive, and we know where she is. So let's go get her. Ilario is making his move. He's hosting the Talons of the Crows at Via della Morte. All of them. That's a good way to get himself killed. Unless he's got something up his sleeve. Maybe he thinks his blood magic will be enough to control them all. We have to do this carefully. Ilario has to be expecting us. You think he knows that we know about him and Algernon? He wouldn't be avoiding us otherwise. Be ready for a trap. It'll be slow going through Chuviso. Not for us. We're going by water, and Spide is keen to get this done. Then let's make this a night to remember. So, Tarsh pries the enormous ruby out of the statue's eye socket. Except then it wakes up, and now it's real pissed that it's missing an eye. <gasps> oh, my! What kind of statue was this? Big snake. Like, the size of a horse? 30 feet tall. Had the size of a wagon. How'd you get up there? They carved the scales. Made okay handholds. And now we've got a giant, angry, one-eyed snake statue trying to swallow Tarsh whole. 
Wait, how does that work? Where would they go? Did it have a stomach? Wait for it. Best part is, while Tash is pounding that snake's nose, she's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um... Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it, sorry. What are you doing? Pulling a barb. Oh, okay. A barb? Tradition in the Lords of Fortune, from one of our old members, Barv. Good guy, but like most of us, his plans went sideways a lot. Bad blood among your crews, not good for morale, but there's not always time for big, drawn-out apologies. So, when one of us screws up and we know we've screwed up, we do a quick ten to put it right. Pulling a barb. Oh, there we go. Any reason you can't just apologize? Sometimes people say, oops, sorry, and hope that fixes it. But they just want to get the whole thing over with. Trust me, I know. But pulling a barb, you sweat a little. Makes you think about it a little more. Shows the other person you mean it. What if they mean it when they say they're sorry, though? And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. They make it about them. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I'd never do that on purpose. They feel so bad about it that it's on everyone else to smooth it over and make them feel better. Oh, oh, okay, yes, some people might do that. Pulling a barb puts it on the person who screwed up. They made the mess, they fix it, done. I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tarsh's back. Oh, Tarsh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? It was a little before your time, but Horlix was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. And out of them too. Hmm. That's a nice rule. We could try out on our team. At least you'd get a workout. Ouch. I didn't expect the Lords to care about the stuff. Me being non-binary. Kirkwall taught me about family. If it matters to you, it matters to me. I mean, to the, uh, lords. Oh. Thanks. Uh, anyway, where was I? So, their Tash is thigh deep in a snake's maw and still holding the giant ruby in one hand. I yell that we'll get them out of there and Tash just yells back, Get up its ass! I'll meet you in the middle! Okay, the stomach I get, but did it really have a... Hey. Who ate the last breaded cheese wand? Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I guess I thought, well, I, I don't know what. It's fine. No, no, they're your favorite. I think Tosh will survive, Ballara. No, Rook. Tosh loves cheese wands. Tosh loves everything. Nothing like running down dragons to build up an appetite. It's the fire breathing. I have to eat more to build up stuff in my gut. I know what I have to do. I'm pulling a barf. One, two, three. Heart's in the right place. Form's a little sloppy, though. <laughs> Bend your knees. Thanks for the tip off. Got people clear before trouble hit. Bricks on me. Ferelden, that's in the south, right? How'd you get up here? Hey, Lara. You okay? You look sad. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about my brother. Yeah. 
Sometimes I see stuff that reminds me of my mother. What do you do? When it hits you, I mean. Um, I don't know. I ask someone how they're doing. Then I'm thinking about them and not me. Oh. I'm sorry, Tosh. Nah. That's a good hurt. No sleep. Had some wardens on the ship once, sailed them to Deventer. If you've got a job for me, let me know. Thought the cart was done when the Venatori grabbed me. You did a good job polishing her up. I was happy to help. Besides, Nev might starve without your cart. Yeah, well... Free fish next time. You too, Gallus. Sure, Hal. Rana, I've got someone for you to meet. Right. I'm almost finished here. Good reading. And here I thought you'd be working our cases. I got a tip on a red lyrium smuggler who leaves coded messages in the paper. I placed a coded ad pretending to be a buyer. If the smuggler took the bait, I'll know where he's trading the goods. Anything I can do to help? Hmm. Cooperative. Are you sure you're Nev's friend? All right. What are we after? We're looking for the phrase Virantium Brandy. Got it. Hold on. What's this? Nev Gallus and Rana Savas, investigators? Right. That. I may have paid for another small advertisement. You what? <laughs> If we want to help people, they need an easier way to find us. It's approachable. I regret this already. Docktown couldn't ask for better protectors. Oh, it could, but we're all right. There, Virantium Brandy. I know where to stop the Red Lyrium deal. This one, anyway. Good catch. You might work out after all. Still. I'd prefer you have backup when you need it. And if I'm not around... Rana, meet the Viper. I put in a word for you. The Viper? You're real. Wait, a word? For what? Come. It's time you met the Shadow Dragons. Are you Nefgalus? Where did... How did you... I saw your advertisement. I need your help. Then you're in the right place. Look at you. Docktown's hero. Isn't that wholesome? I blame you. Have a seat. I'm guessing you've got a story.
Good. We're past the blight and no one heard our gondola. Where to now? We go under the bridge. We aren't going in through a sewer, are we? No sewers in Treviso. The streets are barely above water as it is. There's a hidden escape route. That's our way inside. Over there, that's the entrance. Your house has a secret escape route, and Ilario didn't post a guard on it. Ilario doesn't know it's here. Why not? Katarina didn't even tell me about it. I found it laying here alone as a boy. Katarina must be a difficult prisoner. And here we are. Welcome to Villa de la Morte. No wonder Elario wants to inherit. Home? Smells like dust and linseed oil. Don't say that when Katarina is in earshot.
Hey! comfortable, but we'll get them out. So you lived here? Hilario and I both did, until we were 18. What about your parents? Killed by a rival house. We would have ended up with Katarina anyway, to train. We've company. to my city, and now you want my house? No Venatori leave this house alive. Everyone all right? Hey! Family rooms are up ahead. First her, and then we find what we seek. The power of the gods themselves is at our command, and we're thwarted by a door. Now you can. The door's been barred from the inside. So, we bust down the door and get attacked, probably. Which is why I'll go first. Ready when you are. <laughs> 